In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We welcome everyone to Mass for this uh, Thursday in the 21st week of ordinary time in these challenging times. And we begin asking God's grace, presence and love in our lives. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You are our good shepherd. Lord, have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, your faith has been a great comfort to us in the middle of our own troubles and sorrows. Now we can breathe again, as you are still holding firm in the Lord. How can we thank God enough for you, for all the joy we feel before our God on your account? We are earnestly praying night and day to be able to see you face to face again and make up any shortcomings in your faith. May God our Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ make it easy for us to come to you. May the Lord be generous in increasing your love and make you love one another and the whole human race as much as we love you. And may the Lord so confirm your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless in the sight of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus Christ comes with all his saints. The word of the Lord. The response, you have searched me and you know me, Lord. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. Oh, where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me. Your right hand would hold me fast. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. If I say that the darkness hide me and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you and the night is as clear as the day. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me, Lord. And we welcome the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, be watchful and ready. You know not when the Son of Man is coming. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, because you do not know the day when your master is coming. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what time of the night the burglar would come, he would have stayed awake and would not have allowed anyone to break the wall of his house. Therefore you too must stand ready because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. 
What sort of servant then is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Happy that servant if his master's arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you solemnly, he will place him over everything he owns. But as for the dishonest servant who says to himself, My master is taking his time and sets about beating his fellow servants and eating and drinking with drunkards. His master will come on a day he does not expect and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the hypocrites where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. These messages about staying awake, being ready, not knowing the hour, uh, we can easily take the power out of those messages by postponing what they're talking about to the end of time, rather than saying they're about this present time, this day, this moment. Be awake. We don't know when the Lord is coming. In other words, we don't know how God will come to us this day, in what person, in what event, in what challenge, in what gift? Are we alert to the subtle presence of God now and each day? Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and reveal the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that sharing in the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of love together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony Randazzo, our Bishop, and all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have loved you throughout the ages, we too may be counted worthy to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. And join together in prayer, by the Holy Spirit, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the, of the Lord be with you always. Let's now share a sign of peace, if you are, with others at home. And, of course, for all, let's pray for one another, particularly those uh, at home alone, that God's peace be with you. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks everyone and I hope you are, are travelling well. <laughs>